Hey guys, Scott, Scotty's Animals here. And a lot of people come into the guinea pig rescue and they're setting up their cage and they've got the cage, they've got a food dish and a water bottle and they wanna know what they should, what kind of uh, toys they should get, what kind of hideys they should get. And I'm about to show you a cool, quick way of turning an Amazon box or any kind of cardboard box into a hidey. Before I do that, I wanna mention something that before anybody goes and spending money on a Heidi or all these crazy toys that you see at the pet shop, um, think about the snack shack. I'm going to show you a picture of a snack shack. I just read a review of this thing and it says they give it four out of five stars because it has like honey or molasses and pine shavings in it. But generally speaking, the guinea pigs don't really eat it they may chew on it a little bit but some guinea pigs will demolish it they will eat the whole thing in a couple months but if that's the case you might want to look at what else is going on with their diet because most guinea pigs in my opinion haven't really made too much a dent in it and we have some snack shacks at the guinea pig rescue that are years old and have been in the same cage for for years and what this is, it's a log that you put hay in that guinea pigs can climb into. They can climb on. They stretch their backs. It's really great for them. You want to make sure to keep hay up off the ground. As you can see behind me, right here, there's a snack shack. There's another snack shack. I've got snack shacks in every cage. Okay, very important to keep the hay off the ground. Now, if you've got a snack shack and then you can spend your money on fresh veggies and um, a savings fund, an emergency fund for vet bills and things like that. Now, this is a regular Amazon box. This is a small one, but this is big enough for a, a personal Heidi or uh, for a bunch of babies. So I want to show you how to make one real quick. And it's very easy to do. So I cut the flaps off. And while I'm cutting the flaps off, I'm going to also cut out a doorway. I like to make like a dome or some kind of circular doorway, arched doorway. That's what I meant to say. Okay. There we go. Now, if you can make them on at least two sides, that's the best. I actually like to make doors on all sides because guinea pigs, they don't need to have like a fortress. It's this, it's just this sense of personal space with boundaries. Okay. Another important thing to think about is airflow. I like to uh, cut the holes in the top or make a window. It's fun to make a window because they will poke their heads out. Okay. I'll just careful that you don't get yourself when you're doing this. So, and I remove the tape. I remove the packing tape if I can. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. You just don't want to see them chewing on it. Plastic tape's a lot worse. So. Just got rid of it in the area where they might be chewing on it. Okay. Probably do like a fast forward. Here we go. And I've got all of them now. I'll check and make sure that they're big enough, right? Cut this one out a little bit taller. Still got some privacy, and it's this the sense, the sense of a boundary. Okay, that's that's the most important thing. Just like, hey, this is my box, right? I'm in here right now. So I was talking about the ceiling. I'll cut this flap out a little bit. You can just pretty much just rip it out. Right. You don't want to completely demolish the box 
uh, you want to keep the structural integrity of the box. So that means, you know, keep most of the critical corners. You know, you don't want to put a door right in the middle of where the, the, the thing that's holding it up. So. There, here's my little sunroof. And I can stick my hand, I love it. I like making a, a, a window in the top big enough that I can pet them. Stick my hand in there, scratch, scratch their ears. Okay, now this is great. This, um, let's give it a try. Snoop, is this working for you? Mike, go over there and try to steal Snoop's uh, space. Yeah? It's little, and it's light. They push it around. They chew on it. They feel powerful. Now, if this was a problem, right, I can just peel the tape off. All right. And it's a nice idea to have two Heidi's. Sometimes you have pigs that are fighting, and if your pigs are being territorial over things, you can take out everything until they've settled down. Sometimes it's not a matter of giving them more, like an extra bowl. Sometimes it's a matter, I mean, you can't take away all the food dishes, so things that they must have at all times. But you can remove a Heidi for a little while if they're fighting over it. There you go. That's the easy way to make a cheap quick custom made Heidi right out of a cardboard box right and see I'm not being I'm not favoring Amazon over the post office <laughs> right Snoop right Mikey this one's big enough for two multiple holes in the window. All right, yeah, that's it. You get some pine shavings on your face, Snoopy. I didn't get it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. All right, appreciate you guys.